what investments, what short investments are you most proud of and why? And Guido's put here about the, uh, the Northern Rock uh, short. Uh, well, I should qualify that on Northern Rock in that roughly £400,000 of that was never paid to me because, uh, I'm, I'm sorry to say, that the Financial Services Authority, which of course is now the Financial Conduct Authority, refused to follow up my reports that the broker in question, direct share deal up in Glasgow, uh, were clearly engaged in fraudulent practice. Uh, had the uh, FSA, as it then was, had the wit to follow the matter up, then I would never have been defrauded of that £400,000. My gross take on Northern Rock was about 1.3 million. So knock off the 400,000, which was in effect stolen from me by the FSA. At least so I maintain. They would deny it, but I, I think I know what the truth is, whatever they say. Uh, it was actually 900,000 pounds net. Now, I'm not complaining about making 900,000 pounds net, but uh, that was a very good result, and it was pleasing, because you could see that Gordon Brown's lunatic handling of the economy and base rates and the uh, Bank of England and the Financial Services Authority was, was going to end in tears. And uh, I made my cut out of Northern Rock simply deciding that Brown is an unacceptable person. As regards other trades, I have little doubt, looking back, that the stock which really pleased me uh, was Maxwell Communication, where I made about £250,000. That was pleasing for a variety of reasons. First, it was quite a useful sum in 1991 when it crystallised. And the other was I owed a hell of a lot of money and uh, as a result was able to pay my debts. And that also I found satisfactory. So it was a combination of relief, uh, intellectual satisfaction at the way things had unfolded and uh, that was very pleasing. There wasn't actually the largest amount of money I've ever made.